to about to say good morning. Um, you would have seen the luxury shopping vlog portion um, of this video. I'm doing <laughs> the best I can. I think this is the format that works for me. Like after I finish buying something, then I just like look around if I'm buying. I did actually buy something. I'll show you. Well, I won't show you yet. I'll show you in the unboxing video. But I did uh, buy something from Selfridges. Um, it's something from fine jewelry, um, but it's from a like an like a luxury brand, but like an independent jeweler, basically. So not one of the conglomerate uh, brands, not like Cartier Bulgari or anything. But you've seen me unbox this brand before on my channel. So if you follow my videos, you'll be able to figure out like who um, the brand is. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to yeah show you guys that portion. What did you guys like the most? I love that brand, House of Jaffa. And ERL, I'm going to go Google them literally now. And so I'm going to sit down and go have a hot chocolate and I'm going to go Google them. Um, this is what makes Selfridges such a powerful place to shop. Selfridges always has like new stuff, like new luxury brands. Those are luxury brands. They have luxury pricing. They're just not like really, really famous, like Big C or Big H or Big LV, but they are luxury brands. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that one. What did you guys think of the clothing that I showed? That's everything I showed is my style. Um, so some of you have been asking me like, what's your style? Like, what's your style? I would say that my style is like, and I'm not, by the way, I'm not dressed like my style. I wanted to be comfortable today while shopping. Um, but I would say that my style is like retro glamour, but like really, really feminine and girly retro glamour. I think that's my style. And I feel like that's, finally now at my age um, and now you know how old I am I feel like I've pinpointed what my style is like ultra feminine retro glamour but I'm also not afraid of like masculine shapes and stuff and oversized looks and every now and then but I would say yeah very feminine very bright colors prints like that's my style honey and those are, that's kind of what I gravitate to so what do you guys think of the Jean-Paul Gaultier honestly I hadn't seen like the new direction for the Jean-Paul Gaultier brand um, in a while. So it was really cool to see it at Selfridges today. It's a very interesting direction because, you know, he's like retired now. So the Jean-Paul Gaultier brand, which is, by the way, owned by the Puig holding company that's owned by the Puig family of Spain. They like do collaborations. The clothing quality is really, really good. Like the garment quality is very, very good. Um, trying to think of, I'm trying to think of which other brands like <laughs> on this vlog. So I'm filming it after literally leaving, so I don't know. I'm trying to remember like what I've um, inserted. Um, but yeah, Jean Paul Gaultier quality was very, very good. House of Jaffa, obviously you know Messina is one of my favorite brands. I had to once I saw it on the rack, I didn't know that they had a concession in here. Was it's not a concession, it's like a tiny section, and they had that super cool pink inflatable jacket, which is very rare. I have not seen that in the Paris flagship and the London flagship. I'm shocked to see that piece here. But again, Selfridges always does, does stuff that's different. Those of you from America, do you know what Selfridges reminds me of? Selfridges is like Bergdorf Goodwin. It's like Bergdorf's. And it has, they, they, they're edgy. Like they like to try new things. They have all of the top tier Paris, Milan, New York, London girls in there, but they have new brands as well. I think Harrods is more classic. They have more classic pieces and they have pieces that and they have brands that you would expect so the top tier girls all of the paris london new york milan girls but and the rome girls as well so there's trendy and stuff but i don't know i just kind of feel like harrods is just they, they kind of go for more classic brands which i think is cool but selfridges selfridges has always been like choosing things that are a little bit more different and there are a lot of contemporary brands in there so you have like the top tier brands on one women's wear floor there's another women's floor where they're like more contemporary brands and that's where i got the my fine jewelry from which you'll see in an unboxing so yeah i um, really really enjoyed that um so it's fine browsing you can browse um certain brands it's easier to browse than others all the brands that i, I showed in this vlog is absolutely fine to browse and you were not hounded like to buy anything but definitely like at prod i did see a woman who was just looking um and literally she hadn't even breathed and it was like what would you like to buy today <laughs> you know we've talked about that before what are you gonna buy today <laughs> you know that kind of thing so yeah anyway really good experience today good experience when i went to purchase my fine jewelry piece um pieces which you'll see um 
so yeah that was a good experience but i knew what i wanted and again i bought from this brand before if you follow my unboxings you know the brand um so yeah i hope that you guys um like this luxury shopping vlog this isn't my thing it's not my area of expertise i don't know a lot about how to film these videos i've told you guys before i still don't understand how people walk into these shops and touch everything and not buy because I don't, I don't know how you're getting away with that, you know, in Selfridges and getting away with it quite well. Um, to me, I've always found it quite strange, like how they do. But hey, they do, and that's fine. That's not my mo. I can't like look up. I can't look at a ton of stuff if I'm, if I'm not buying at least one thing from one brand. Like that's just, you know, how I am. Anyway, I hope that you guys have liked it. Um, one of you was telling me feature different brands. You always feature the same brands. I totally understand that criticism. It's a fair critique of all luxury channels that we just kind of gravitate to the same brands. The problem is like, and I hope I don't come across Moni because there's a lot of moaning going on at the moment in the luxury um, YouTube space. And I don't want to be one of the moaners and complainers. Um, a lot of people are complaining, saying, oh, people don't want to watch and stuff. Um, my, my thing is like, I would love to show you more brands like the ones I showed you. Um, it, it would just mean the world to me if you would watch the videos, like just watch them. If you want us to cover other brands, please, please, please go and support those videos. But I'm not guilt tripping you into watching my content. I hate when vloggers try and guilt trip people into watching content. It's super annoying. So I hope that I haven't done that. But anyway, just watch the content if you enjoy it. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find a coffee. I wanna sit down, have a coffee, look up that House of Jaffa and ERL brand, because I think they're perfect for me, because um, that's so my style. Prints, colors, textures and stuff. Um, Jean-Paul Gaultier, I would absolutely consider getting some of that ready swear, like the tops and shirts and stuff. They look great for me, very much my style. By the way, those of you from conservative countries like me, a lot of the Jean-Paul Gaultier clothing is like long sleeved, which is great for us where, you know, for those of us from conservative countries. So pretty cool. Um, I saw a lot of really great stuff. I really hope you liked this London luxury shopping vlog. I did the best I could, boo boo. I just do my thing, honey. Okay. Um, and I do the best that I can, but I don't like, you're never going to see me film like 20 minutes of me touching every single thing. If I'm not buying, like that's just not my stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Stick around for my actual London vlog, the one that about the travels, which won't really be luxury themed, it's just be me walking through things. I'm walking through like the city and doing, get, getting up to stuff. And then watch out for my unboxings as well. So watch out for those. Um, I'm gonna have luxury fashion unboxings. You'll see this fine jewelry unboxing. Um, I also want to, I think I'm gonna show you some of the beauty things I've picked up. Um, they're not like luxury, but I still think it's worth sharing because I really need to like be investing in taking care of my skin, honey, because I wanna look like a vampire for the rest of my life. Um, so I want to make sure I make a huge effort to look very glamorous and um, vampirific, which is my goal, my aim. I don't look glamorous at the moment. I'm trying to make an effort to look more glamorous. Like I'm doing this new thing where every day I do one thing to look more glamorous. So. I really don't want to wear makeup today, but I was like, I'm going to put some makeup on today and put on my MAC lipstick, which I put on. The, the name is Photo. These are these sunglasses are from H&M, but you've been seeing me wear my um, Versace ones for a bit now. I like the Christian Dior ones. It's just that the lens is so dark. I think I need to get some Dior sunglasses that don't have like a super dark lens. Love those Louis Vuitton sunglasses I tried when I went shopping at Louis Vuitton as well. I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing coming too, by the way. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I really hope you have been enjoying my content. Um, let me know what else you guys are interested from me in terms of seeing things from me. Just let me know. Um, I got a great comment from one of you. You were saying feature more brands like, you know, Delvo and Moina. Um, okay, so a few things on that. First of all, generally speaking, and that's a great question and great feedback. I really appreciate your feedback. And every piece of feedback that is said with love, I take very seriously. I mean, I want to work on it. Um, the only thing I would say about those brands is like, I can only feature brands if I like them and I'm passionate about them. So for example, in there, I just saw Dries Van Noten as well. And I love Dries Van Noten. I just haven't had a chance to chat about his label and his work on this channel. And I want to correct that bubble because I love Love that brand i've always loved jason notes i've always loved john paul Gaultier. um i don't know a ton about like moina and delvo but what i have seen of delvo actually proper light um that i think delvo is on bond street and i swear i walk past them and walk past the store i'm pretty sure it's on bond street or new bond street or, or old bond street and i really really like what i saw so i would definitely consider 
I'm covering more of those other brands, not just the same girls, Irma, Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton, um, you know, Cartier and stuff. I understand totally, and I would love to share more of those brands with you. Just that when you see those brands, please support the video. Again, not guilt tripping you, promise not guilt tripping, and if I am, I'm gonna delete this out. Um, just support the video if you wanna see things that are different, because when you support it, then we know to make that content so that you watch it. Okay, I'm done talking now. I'm gonna go find um, hot chocolate, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video.